Hello and welcome to fit to box channel and today I've got an unboxing of a product from Reebok. So let's get straight into it as I turn it around for you. Um, I ordered this the other day and I'm super super excited about it because it is uh, something for me personally. Okay, um, so I saw this and then I thought, right, okay, let's have a look because I'll bring it round for you. Okay, when I saw this, I thought, that is absolutely superb, and I have got to have um, those. So let's bring it round, and then bring it round. So we've got the big Reebok box, we've got the uh, return label, we've got the delivery note, and we've got the return note. I am not going to be returning these, hopefully. Uh, okay, so in there, in the big box, we then have a smaller box. Excellent. Okay, so Reebok, um, and I'll bring that around and just open that up so you can see. And these are a pair of Reebok boots. Okay, so you have seen reviews that I've done before about the Reebok boots that are in there, but they have bought out uh, a couple of new colours, and this is one of them. Now, as you know, Nike Hyper KO or Nike Hyper KO is my boot of choice. These are Reebok boxing boots. As I say, Nike Hyper KO, that is what I buy for myself. And as you know, I've got several pairs of those and I've been a massive fan of them for years. Now, I haven't really ordered any other uh, boxing boots for myself. Um, I've, bought, I've bought them sort of um, for, for other people, uh, different ones, but these are actually going to be mine. So let's have a look. I'm going to open them up and. They are as every bit as nice as I thought they were going to be. They are gorgeous. Okay, so I saw these. Let's just have a look. Bring that look at them. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really beautiful, beautiful boots. So let's just bring that to there and put that there. And bring that there and put that there. Move that box out the way. I saw a picture of these um, and then I thought, wow, look at them. And I went straight onto Reebok's website to have a look. And there they were, ready to order. And I was straight on there, paying for that at the checkout on the online store. Uh, I didn't mess about. Uh, I really, really do like these. Now, I like those boots there. I've done... Um, uh, reviews on the channel of those boots and I did really like those boots um, but I didn't buy any for myself I did try some on and did a, did some reviews but actually these are going to be for myself these are going to be used by me in my sparring I've actually got some sparring coming up later on in the week and I am going to use these because I need to test them for you guys okay so let's just have a look uh, around these boots as you can see uh, in the in the black and the gold and then on there you've got that sort of animal skin um, it's either snake skin or crocodile skin now I have asked the wife when I showed her the picture and she said it's snake skin so I can't be sure it's not real snake skin I know that because of the cost of these these are a great value boot so it's definitely not real uh, snake skin or croc skin uh, but the effect is lovely on there now my wife has got uh, quite a few handbags and she assures me that that is snakeskin I haven't got any handbags so I'm going to uh, just trust her judgment so as we bring those round now Reebok I have to say Reebok they are massive in combat sports uh, because of their UFC sponsorship uh, also Floyd Mayweather Amir Khan even like Conor Ben has been uh, is a sponsored athlete by by Reebok and I think over the last sort of couple of years, they have really upped their game when it has come to sponsorship of not only boxing uh, boxers, but combat sports. Their UFC sponsorship, of course, is sort of totally dominant. Like nobody else can uh, nobody else can advertise in the UFC uh, because UFC uh, is just total Reebok. Everything they wear, t-shirts and shorts and everything is, is Reebok. So as a result of that, and obviously the recent uh, McGregor versus Mayweather fight, 
Um, the, it's fair to say that the uh, the brand of Reebok has lifted itself up a few notches um, during that time and, and, and just before. So let me just go round the boots. Let's move one to one side. Let's go round the boots. And there is the toe, as you can see. And these are called Book, um, Reebok Book. I like that toe because it's... It's quite kind of protected there. One of the things that I always say about Nike Hyper KO is they can get quite damaged there. Um, and also the sole can come away a little bit there. But I haven't had any problems or heard of any problems about the toe on the Reebok boots. Um, when it comes to the actual sole, they've stuck with that flat rubber sole. And that really does do exactly what it needs to do when you are on that ring canvas. And then I'll bring it round, and again you've got that flat heel, and then that Reebok badge at the back there in gold, and again that's really nice. And as I bring that round, look at them boots. They really, really are nice, and I, I just think that the what they've done is they've lifted this boot up another level with this design. Beautiful, beautiful looking boots, really are. And then on the, I should show you the laces and the tongue so I'll bring that across there uh, there sorry about this um, it's just under the laces first of all so they come a little bit tied up go across there open it up and then in there you have got the actual tongue there which is a again gold Reebok tongue which really really looks nice and um, around the side there you have got that very nice ankle support Velcro again with the Reebok on the side and as I'll show you that that round and again that is in that snake skin effect in terms of quality and durability there's a lad at the gym a couple of lads actually at the gym that have got the the original versions um, and they are holding up absolutely superb um, they, they really are and um, in terms of the white ones the lad's got some white ones they're a little dirty he just needs to uh, wash them um, but in terms of these obviously being black that's another advantage these won't look uh, too dirty as you're using them um, but they are holding up well from the people that are using them every single week in my gym in terms of comfort as well when I tried these boots on before obviously not these ones but the the previous version they are a very comfortable boot and I've been very impressed when you actually use them and that's why I'm super excited about sort of having these and trying these out in a bit of sparring later in the week so this sort of uh, when it comes to style let's bring the other one over here uh, when it comes to style you know what a stunning stunning boot in the black snakeskin effect they also, there's a new white and gold boot as well that they've bought out. There's also a grey, all grey boot that they've bought out as well. And that's to go with the existing colours of the white and black, the black with the red uh, logo, and also silver and black as well, which was uh, silver there black there with a red logo and again look on the channel i have got different uh reviews of the different colors on there i've got most of the colors actually on the on the channel and then just bring that around so i just wanted to show you them i will do a head-to-head -head matchup between these new boots and a version the newer version of the hyper KO the Nike Hyper KO boots. Uh, I did do an original matchup, which was sort of the original Reebok versus an older uh, colorway of the Nike Hyper KOs. Um, but I do think that the matchup between these and the newer versions will be a closer match. So I will bring that to you. Now, as well as I'm looking stunning, uh, that one of the the greatest things about these boots is the price, and the price of these boots is £69.95 pence. that's £69.95 pence. that is incredible for these boots and what they look like and how that how good they are that is a phenomenal price uh, especially when you consider that the Nike Hyper KOs are about £160-£170 and you can pick up a pair of these for £69.95 that is just 
amazing. So when it comes to it, um, this is the, the, the price for those, the $69.95 is for this version. The ones in the background there are still at £64.95 and you can get both of those direct from Reebok's website. So just wanted to bring you those. I think they're absolutely great. I can't wait to use them in sparring. These will be part of my personal sparring uh, collection now, my personal gear, because I like them so much. Um, I was hoping that they were going to be as good as the picture, but actually, in reality, uh, they're better than on the picture. So really, really pleased with them. So please like and subscribe to Fitterbox channel, and I shall speak to you soon.